Hello everyone, my name is Kucho, originally from Ghana, but I now live in South Africa and Cape Town. All over the world there has been an increasing interest in the environmental issues, especially as the result of human activities. Loss of species comes with a loss of potential economic benefits. Why is it important to conserve our biodiversity? That is a good question that you should ask yourself. Well, I don't ask myself and the answer was that lots of species have been extinct over the past years. From, from year 1600 until now, 1% of the earth species have been extinct. The increase in population in Ghana has posed a serious threat on the biodiversity with an estimated 65% of the forest had been destroyed, with about 72,000 hectares per annum has been destroyed for cultivation purposes and bushfires. Biodiversity in Ghana is under threat in, su in some ecosystem and this has made very difficult to have a uniform situation. As I've mentioned earlier on that human activities are major threat to Ghana biodiversity and the conservation planning. Such human activities include pollution, over, over exploitation, land use conversion. As you all know that Ghana is the country that is still trying to find a feet against the giants in terms of economy. Lots of, lots of agricultural land use is being destroyed in exchange to infrastructure. This land use includes large scale farming, monoculture, plantation, misapplication of chemicals, use of fire for traditional farming, which led to pollution, cutting of trees. In Ghana, marine and coastal biodiversity has been under severe threat. Over the past decade, lots of fish stock in Ghana has declined. This happened as the result of overfishing from the local people. Climate change has also played a negative role in this marine biodiversity disturbance. High usage of pesticides for agricultural purposes has also damaged the marine life. Other than the fishing stock and species, marine turtles are also another threatened species in Ghana. About three marine turtle species has been declared as the endangered or threatened species. The name of these turtles are leatherback, oliver redly, and green. One of the turtle, known as hawksbill, has become extinct. Water birds are also under severe threat in Ghana. About 15 species of birds has shown a sign of decline. This also happens as a result of habitat loss, which forces birds to migrate to other places or other or other countries. Although Ghana has been going through such a difficult time, it is true that over the past years they have shown a bigger growth with regards to conservation planning and taking care of their biodiversity. Ghana have implemented strategies such as the creation and strengthening of management and conservation system, which aims is to build and promote studies of microorganisms and water conservation. They have developed national biodiversity strategy, which aim is to have protected area system that will include marine parks, proper forest management, and proper law investment and proper law enforcement. Over the past years, the law enforcement in Ghana has never been properly enforced. A lot of people have been doing lots of deforestation and they've never faced the armor flow. Thank you for, for watching this video. This, The conclusion will help you to see the results that we gathered when we were doing Maxen and running the new protected areas for Ghana using both hexagon and both echo regimes. Thank you.